This video looks at all of the Japan team's matches at the 2022 World Junior Judo Championships Mixed Teams event. So this one started off with a rather unusual matchup between Ecuador, mostly a team of brown belts, and Japan. So the Japan team, they won uh, three gold medals in the women's event and three in the men's. So they were clearly the favourites for this mixed teams event. I'm not sure why they ended up having to do a round one matchup against Ecuador, the host nation. But it was obviously a very easy match for the Japan team. This one's Ayumi Kawada. She usually competes at 52 kilos. I was a bit surprised to see her as she didn't have any matches in the 52 kilos due to injury a few days ago but she must be fighting fit now. This is Fukuda. He usually competes at 66. He didn't have very good results in the individual tournament, but here he is representing Japan in the under 73 kilo class at this mixed teams event. Obviously the Japan team felt that they could put out a bit of a B team or a C team for this event or, or for this matchup with uh, Ecuador. So I'm not exactly sure why Japan was ranked I guess number eight or number nine in this field. Might be because Japan didn't send a team to the juniors last year. Due to Corona Japan didn't field any judokas in the junior competitions in 2020 and 2021. Now here is Japan versus Germany. So Nakano, I think he finished second in the 100 kilo, under 100 kilo category yesterday. Here's Akari Omori of Japan. So Akari Omori is somewhat unusual amongst the Japanese women in that she doesn't really seem to like Newaza much. Didn't see her attempt any turnovers in her matches in the individual tournament. I think she finished with the silver medal and the other Japanese in that category finished fifth. So she scored here with Ashigaruma but wasn't able to hold Osai Komi. So I'm not sure what kind of future Omori's going to have as a non newaza using Japanese judoka just relying on Tachiwaza, but beautiful Ashigaruma Ippon. Now here is Ryuga Tanaka in the under 73 kilo class. So he is Japan's number one junior in this category and also the world number one junior. He had a pretty impressive win against the Georgian in the final come from behind victory. Almost caught the German player napping while he was fixing his judo gi and tries to transition to Juji Gatame. Unable to separate that arm from the body to get an Ude Garami finish. Seemed like an uncomfortable grip he had there. It's 
Tanaka does like that one arm soda. Here he is going for it again. And it's hit Bond, surely. Yes. Sode Uchimata. So Moka Kuagata, she had a disappointing result in the under 70 kilo class in the individual event. She lost to, I think it was a girl from Colombia. And Judo Japan has pretty high hopes for Kuagata. She's been selected as a team member for the upcoming World Championships in the adults, so I don't really see it myself. She seems to struggle against the European opponents. I think she's probably being sent to the World Championships more to get some Randori experience and it's just there as a backup in case Saki Nizue and Shiho Tanaka, name almost escaped me, are injured in the upcoming World Championships. Mate was called there just before she could go into that Sumi Gaishi. She's coached by a number of Olympic champions in the under 70 kilo class, such as Chizura Rai and one of the Ueno sisters. And just as it looks like this one was going to head into golden score, Kuwagata gets to show off her Newaza. So she does have very good Newaza, but so far I've not really seen it from her in the Tachiwaza. So Japan defeats Germany 4-0. Now, this is Japan versus France in the semi-final. So we've got Akari Omori, 57 kilo silver medalist versus Fawaz of France who won bronze. She defeated the other Japanese, Rina Gucci, in the bronze medal match. And she's already up 1-0 here. That Wazaari scored. So Amori, as I mentioned earlier, is the Japanese judoka that doesn't really seem to like Newaza. Fawaz's strategy seemed to be to wait for Omori to go for the Osotogari and then try to counter. I think we're going to see the same thing again here. There it is again. She's able to rotate her onto her shoulder. And I think the video replay ends up being called. Wazaari Awasate Ippon for France. So France leading 1-0. Ryuga Tanaka, 73 kilo champion in this class. It's a heavy favorite here. But as we saw from the Olympics, where Ono lost in his bout, nothing can be taken for granted. So Tanaka does like his Newaza. Almost got countered there and 
Once again, he's catching his opponent napping, fixing his judo gi. But it's Tanaka that got the surprise. The Seo Otoshi, not the strongest throw, but it was a bit of back on Tatami. So Waza Ari for France. So we're into the final 20 seconds of this match. The French judoka is just trying to stall it out. Can he walk away with a 1-0 win? The clock is ticking. One of the most beautiful Ippons of the tournament. So Japan has tied it up 1-1. So here's Kuwagata again. She conceded the Wazaari. Look at the Wazari again. Now the French judoka, she really blew it here. It wasn't so much that Kuwagata got the win, it's just the French judoka stalled out the position. If you take this kind of grip, you're expected to be aggressive in doing things with it and actually be trying to score. No attempt to score from that grip. So she gets the third Shido and she's disqualified. She doesn't take it well. So Japan takes a 2-1 lead. So really, the French team could have been up 3-0 at this point. It could have been bye-bye Japan perhaps. But fortune and some bad strategy by the French team has led to a 2-1 lead for Japan. A nice Kosoto Gari taking out both legs. The Wazari did not stay on the board though. The video review concluded that it was not Wazari. So for me, that one was pretty much as close as you can get to being Wazari. Probably not the 90 degrees, but more like an 85 degree landing on his side. And then Ippon was scored for the, I guess it's Daki Wakare or Uki Otoshi. I thought Daki Wakare you had to be behind them. So France surprisingly evens up the scores, but this one looked like a bit of a mismatch. Miki Mukonoki won the bronze medal in the individual event and looked very good aside from her loss to the much larger Turkish judoka. So 3-2 now for Japan. This is match point if Japan wins this. They'll be in the final. If not, there'll be a tiebreaker. So this is Yuta Nakamura, the over 100 kilo champion versus the under 100 kilo champion from France. Now the commentators yesterday were saying that this under 100 kilo champion, someone with the body that could go up to the over 100 kilo class. So this is a good test to see whether that class is going to suit him. Nakamura, pretty happy to take that Ochigari all the way out of Ecuador into a neighboring country. And Mate was called just as he was falling to the ground. But clearly, he had no chance to defend at that point, so... A pretty lucky one for France. They should be down a Wazaari. And a very weak Sayotoshi attempt. 
And I don't think we're going to see the French Judoka making that transition up to the over 100 kilo class. France needs somebody in the under 100 kilo class and if you saw Teddy Renner's performance in the over 100 kilo class at the previous Grand Slam, you won't be thinking that France is in need of another over 100 kilo player at the moment. Now it's time for the final versus Turkey. So the Turkish women are very strong. The Turkish men I know very little about. So Ryuga Tanaka very quickly moving to a Waza'ari lead in this final match. So I'm pretty sure that it was Japan that selected this match as the one to go first. And there it is, Ippon, Awasete Ippon for Ryuga Tanaka. So the 73 kilo world junior champion found plenty to add to his highlight reel in today's judo action. So Ogel here was the silver medalist and it was a bit of a surprise that Kuwagata beat her so easily. So Ogel won silver losing to Ai Tsunoda who's already one of the top players in the world at this category. She certainly wasn't expected to hit the tatami that quickly. So the under 90 kilo class for Japan wasn't one of their strong suits in this tournament. But I'm guessing from the looks of this one it wasn't one of Turkey's either. And Amano was able to take his opponent over and hold the Osai Komi for 20 seconds and win by Ippon. Now, Japan 3, Turkey 0, so it's up to the Giant to get revenge from yesterday. So yesterday these two had an exciting match. Ozturk looked like she was on the verge of winning. She was thrown and pinned. They looked at the video replay and they concluded that Arai had uh, grabbed a leg. Arai came back and threw her again. So the thing that surprised me about this one was I thought the conclusion from yesterday's match was that Newaza wasn't a good option against such a heavy opponent. Clearly the plan for Arai was to try and put an extra effort into Newaza and I think it helped her tire Ozturk here. A lot of these attempts made Ozturk really have to work to maintain her position. She couldn't just take a nap like most judokas this size can do when it comes to Newaza when they're on the bottom, just sit there in turtle and rest. Almost got the arm here. I feel like Mate was called a little bit early there. And Arai intercepts her on that one. 
Nice attack by Arai. So, so far it had mainly been Ozturk that was putting in all the attacks. But good to see Arai coming back with that. Now, Ozturk leaving the arm behind. It's a risky strategy. She's grabbed onto the belt and that's going to enable her to avoid the turn here. So now Arai is on two Shidos, so she needs to watch out or she's going to find herself disqualified here. But she wants to be the one that wins it for Japan. Now it's Oz Turk on the edge of the mat here. She's got to come up with a throw. She's got to be careful not to be intercepted. And Oz Turk was given a Shido for that, for stepping off the mat. They didn't count that as a throw by Oz Turk. Clearly it was aborted. Now we're into golden score. Ozturk, aggressive, trying to finish off that Makikomi. I think she was hoping to catch Arai in Osai Komi. But she almost got herself trapped in Osai Komi there. So attempted Sayonage. Looked as though Ozturk looked at the ref as if to say that was a false throw. And then Arai just caught her with the Kochigari. Clearly Ozturk physically struggling at this point. Almost five minutes of judo. Oh, Ozturk, legs crossed, goes down, and Arai has the arm. And Udegarami finish. So Japan makes a clean sweep of things. 4-0 to win the world junior judo mixed teams championships for 2022 strong performance by team japan they used a lot of players from this team 